Well, it's time for the big reveal. I've been working on this guitar for what I thought was 15 years, but I've just gone back through my notes and haven't been working on it anywhere near that long. It's actually 13 years. Anyway, it's uh, been a long project, and they say that good things come to those that wait. So here's the case for the guitar to start with. Uh, started out uh, creating a what I was planning was a fairly rustic sort of timber case, complete with rusted relic hardware, valiant seat belts, of course, bit of leather stitching. Got to learn new stuff. Yeah, nicely rusted, patinaed hardware. Uh, but uh, the the timber look was getting a bit boring, so I thought, man, I might have to do something a bit different here. The fellow I'm making the guitar for is a marine biologist, so I thought uh, fish scales were fitting. That's the bottom of the, the case. And then, and that was my first go at fish scales. A bit of uh, Googling and we got through that one. Uh, and then the top turned out like this with a bit of... Uh, Bit more thought put into colour schemes and the way things might come together and the paint that I used, all just cans of spray paint that I've had kicking around in the shed for years. Anyway, of course, uh, the big thing is what's inside. It's a guitar that was conceived quite a long time ago for a fellow that's got a specific, uh, had a specific need for what he wanted out of a guitar. There we are. This is my own design. Um, pretty much made everything. Got to have the logo on the headstock, of course. So, the timber for the guitar, for the body, is Tasmanian Blackheart Sassafras. The neck is the same um, with an ebony fingerboard. Abalone position markers. Humbucker in the neck position. A telly style pickup in the bridge. Uh, a Seymour Duncan, uh, I forget the name of it now. Big thick magnets that um, allow it to actually keep up with the humbucker in the bridge position. The big thing here is the Hipshot Trilogy bridge that gives uh, the ability to change tunings on the guitar very quickly. And that's what the whole concept was for this mate of mine that uh, plays a bit of, plays a lot of guitar, plays a fair bit of, um, used to play a fair bit of bottleneck slide and um, yeah one of the ability to change things around uh, change tunings pretty much on the fly so this is it this is what we came up with anyway this is uh, my first go at videoing projects I guess in this uh, time of COVID everyone's having a bit of a crack at new stuff like this uh, so I thought I'd better give it a go uh, case is uh, fully lined had to go with something with a bit of bling, of course. Uh, some interesting parts about the guitar itself. The back on the guitar is actually slightly curved. A bit hard to show in the, in the video, but um, I reckon anyone can make a flat guitar, so I don't really like making flat guitars. They've all got a bit of a curve. So it's curved with a bit of a... so that it kind of tucks into your belly a bit on the back, the front is also curved to match. Uh, the headstock, it's got a bit of a radius to it. Again, hard to show on a, a video, but it's not flat. Don't like flat. Uh, the headstock has actually been scalloped in a bit, so you've got uh, nice tight edges, that, and then the neck kind of or the headstock sinks in from there i like a nice um volute i suppose you would call it bit of a shape on the back of the neck rather than just 
fairing it in just with a ordinary sort of a smoothed edge again just something just a bit of a touch you know something for a bit of uh, extra to show that uh, it is handmade everything's handmade on this pretty much the lower end of the neck's the same got that little v-shape you don't notice it when you're playing it's well out of the way of your hands but uh, just gives us a, a bit of extra bling i suppose you might say um, there's the control cavity there out of the same sort of black heart sassafras timber um, done a few trips to tassie over the years to uh, visit christine's family down there so seem to always manage to drag a bit of timber back eventually gets uh, put to a good use anyway that's about it um, that's the reveal it's pretty much ready for playing I'll uh, get my mate who the guitar's been made for to give us a bit of a a tune at some point once we can actually get together he's in New South Wales I'm in Victoria at the moment so there's none of that yeah, looking forward to hearing it in his hands. He's a terrific player and uh, just a terrific bloke. Anyway, that's it for now. I'll see you next time.